next round of voting in caucuses on Tuesday includes Idaho when presidential hopefuls are making a final push to gain support. Marco Rubio will visit Idaho Falls and Boise on Sunday, while Republican candidate Ted Cruz hopes to gain support in our area with a visit to Coeur d'Alene on Saturday. So how can you see him? From our North Idaho newsroom tonight, KXOY4's Alyssa Donovan has details on the candidate's visit. Today, they're setting up for the Ted Cruz rally here at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds. And by tomorrow afternoon, these bleachers are going to be full of that presidential candidate's supporters. A lot of work goes into setting the stage for a presidential candidate. But for Ted Cruz supporters, the work started long before today. Coeur d'Alene is not exactly on the short list of places for a GOP candidate to visit. You know, it took a lot of work to get him here, I gotta say that. But on Saturday, Republican candidate Ted Cruz is taking the stage at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds. Campaign volunteer John Cross says this is very exciting. I think it means a great deal. Not only for Republicans, but for everyone in North Idaho. Uh, it will be a chance to see a presidential candidate. It, it's just something that doesn't happen every presidential election, which is only four years. Uh, but, but you just just don't have the opportunity to see actual candidates here. There was a big push from local Cruz campaign volunteers to bring the senator to Coeur d'Alene, and they believe his brief visit will make a great impact. We expect that Kootenai County would probably uh, vote for uh, Senator Cruz as a result of his visit. The event starts at 2 p.m. at the Jacklin Building in Coeur d'Alene. Enter the fairgrounds through Gate C. Doors open at 1 p.m. Well, the Jacqueline building is going to be a packed house tomorrow. There's more than 800 people signed up for the event online, and there are going to be some overflow seats outside. So if you are planning on attending, prepare for the weather. Reporting in North Idaho, Alyssa Donovan, KXOY 4 News.